Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Raxium headlights with the black housing and the clear lens, fitting all 2005 to 2009 Toyota Tacomas. So if you are not a fan of the factory headlights on your truck and you're looking for a refresh from the front end of your Tacoma, then this option is gonna be a great choice to take a look into. Now this set is going to come with two headlight housings and all the bulbs to fully replace your factory headlights. Now this will be great for anybody who's not a fan of the factory styling or has experienced any weathering or fogging on the front of their lens on their factory headlights and is just looking for a full swap to get a refresh for the front end of their truck like I mentioned before. Now again, I would like to mention that this is going to come with the bulbs so you don't have to worry about outsourcing for bulbs or swapping over your factory bulbs, making this a one-stop shop and incredibly easy to install. Now, even though you are keeping a halogen setup, this is going to give you some better styling to the front end with a black housing offering your truck a more stealthy look and is also going to have a high strength housing with a polycarbonate lens, which is going to offer some better durability than the factory headlights, ensuring that these will hold up in the long run. Now, these are going to have chrome accenting and chrome reflectors inside the headlight, which is going to add Add another contrast to the front end which I do personally like and it keeps it very simple as far as the styling is concerned in comparison to some other lights that have a lot going on within the inside of the light itself not to mention these are going to be incredibly affordable for what they are coming in at $150 for the pair roughly so this is gonna be great for anybody who's not looking to break the bank they're just looking for a simple headlight swap that's gonna get the job done when it comes to better styling and is also going to replace all the bulbs on the front end of the truck. Now on the category page, if you are looking at some more expensive choices, those are usually going to be a little bit more money because they're going to include different features um, like an LED light bar or an LED halo inside of the housing, or they're just going to be a full LED headlight in comparison to this, which is not going to have the additional daytime running light features and is going to be for a full halogen setup. Now again, these are just going to be a standard easy replacement for somebody who's really not looking for a flashy headlight and is just looking for something that's going to give them a stealthy look while also not breaking the bank. Now I do also like the fact that in comparison to some other options that have a smoke lens or give a stealthy look in the way that the lens is concerned, these are going to have a black housing and a clear lens. So you're still going to get that stealthy look with the black housing, but you're not going to be taking away from any of the lighting performance when it comes to that lens on the front. Now again, these are going to be a very simple swap when it comes to install, so I'm going to give this a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Now I am giving it a lighter two just because this is not necessarily difficult to get these installed, but it is a pretty lengthy process when it comes to disassembling the front end. Now it's probably going to take you about an hour to get the job done with some pretty basic hand tools like a ratchet, a standard socket set, including a 10 millimeter socket, a trim removal tool, and a little bit of elbow grease. Now speaking of the install, a custom here at Extreme Terrain has installed this himself and is going to walk you right through the process. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. Okay, first thing that we're going to do is if you happen to have any aftermarket lights on it, you want to unhook those because we're going to be taking the, the grill off. So these ones have a little zip tie on them, right, right there. So I'm gonna to need to snip that. All right, now that those are unhooked, we wanna take these little push button things out. So you just slip a little screwdriver in there, pop it up, just take it right out. There should be two of them, is to unscrew these. And it should just come right off. So now to get the lights out, there's a couple of these same screws on top. There's nothing. 
those out and then right in the front there's another one of these little push pins pop that out so then after you take that little push pin out you just kind of put a little screwdriver there and just pry it just a little bit A little nut right there and it's a 10 millimeter pocket that bolt was a 10 millimeter it's really hard to get to you can't even really see it but you can feel it in there That was easy. It'd be easiest to put these on while you can just grab a hold of them right here like this. Yeah, now it's just putting everything back together. First I'm gonna put this bolt in right here that's really hard to get to okay that's in just take your little button here and push it back in and now the little bolt these too much because you might break them and next put this one back in down here you can actually pull the bumper away just a little bit so you can use a 10 millimeter socket or a Phillips screwdriver either one for this leave it just a little bit loose that way it'll move a little bit and then you can put these other two in okay we'll put these two in Good. Now we'll finish tightening this bottom one up. It's good. Everything's connected. So like the other side, we're going to take these two bolts out and this one down here. Um, we can take this little button out first. Take that clip out. And then just kind of pull it out just gently. And then just can pry it just a little bit. Take these bolts out.
Now you just want to loosen this up again. Might be able to see bolt on this one. I'll point to it. Right there. Sometimes if they're hard to come out, you just pry just a tiny little bit. There's that one. So you just turn it sideways, kind of like that. And it should come right out. Okay, so now we're gonna put it back in. There, we got that snapped in, fitting pretty good, so we can put that bolt back in. Okay, that's, that's in. And we're going to put this one back in this bolt. And put these two back in. Slide back in there first. And then this little thing will slide underneath into that little spot there. When you put these back in, make sure that they're up so that these compress because when you push them in, it separates them and holds it in place then. I like that. This is the same way as the other side. You just 
slide that in and So it's easier just to hook these back up if you have any of these lights before you push everything back in nice and tight. Now, these little things just go right down inside of here. Make it so that these holes line up as well. And two more clips. Sometimes you need to push these. Sometimes you need to push these little things in so that they clear what you're trying to push it through. And if you need to, you can loosen these up a little bit. that So that is going to wrap it up for my review and install on the Raxium headlights with the black housing and the clear lens fitting all 2005 to 2009 Toyota Tacomas. Make sure to like and subscribe for other product videos and install videos just like this and always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.